Hello, welcome to Arcos 3D. How I made this volumetric clouds in Blender. So let's get started. So we will first start by adding a cube. Add a cube and scale it. Then scale it down on Z axis and move it up on Z axis and make a cuboid. After that divide the workspace and set the render engine to cycles and device to GPU compute. In the new workspace open shader editor and add a new material to the cube, delete the principled BSDF and add a principled volume node. After that add a map range node noise texture node. Select the noise texture node press Ctrl plus T which will add a mapping node and texture coordinate node. Now connect the object from texture coordinate node to vector of the mapping node. After that connect the fac of the noise texture node to the value of map range also connect the result of map range node to the density of principled volume. Now change the anisotropy to 0.7. After that set a minimum reference and maximum reference range to minus 8 and 8 respectively. Now go into world and add a sky texture node for reference lighting. After that adjust the maximum and minimum reference range according to your requirement. Also tweak some settings and noise texture according to your requirement. Now add a camera, align it to the camera view and adjust the camera's position. After that add a plane, scale it and subdivide it number of time. Now add a ground texture to the plane. Unwrap the texture and adjust the texture in UV Editor. After that add a Displace modifier. Add a new texture then in Texture select Texture Type as Clouds and change the size and depth of the cloud texture. Now change the sky texture settings rotate the sun and set the sun intensity according to your requirement.
After that to add grass, append the grass file which you can easily download from the internet. Now go in the particle settings in that select hair then advanced. Then in render select render it as an object and with picker tool select the appended grass file. After that change the hair count according to your requirement. Change the lightings according to your requirements. You can also play with the range settings and make the clouds more dense. After all this you are good to go. Go for the final render and do some color grading and appreciate your work. If you love my renders give a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing cinematic renders.